a very good morning to all of you i am mrs minashi kulgar from department of electronics and telecommunication engineering, engineering kit's college of engineering autonomous kolapur so i will be discussing the course electromagnetic engineering okay from this course the first unit which i am going to discuss is about the coordinate systems and vector analysis the first lesson is the vector analysis so what are the broader objectives of this course this course aims after completion of this course the students can recall concepts from vector calculus integral and differential equations in the analysis of electromagnetic problems students will be able to define identify differentiate illustrate and simulate electric and magnetic fields after completion of this course students can recognize and analyze maxwell's equations as well as students can describe recognize and manipulate plane electromagnetic waves in dielectric and conducting media students can determine fundamental characteristics of simple transmission lines in the time domain and analyze it so what are the objectives of today's lesson or this lesson so after completion of this lesson the learner will be able to understand vector algebra the learner will be able to gain knowledge of coordinate systems and understand basics of electromagnetism so the first point is about the scalar and vector so what is a scalar a scalar is a field is a function that gives a single value of some variable for every point in space a vector that means a scalar is always defined by its magnitude only okay and a vector is a quantity which has both magnitude and the direction in space vector is always defined with its magnitude as well as its direction okay okay here i'll pause the video and what is your task you have to list some examples of scalar and vector quantities list some examples of scalar and vector quantities okay i hope hope you all have come up with your answers these are my answers the scalars these are some scalar quantities voltage it may be a voltage current energy temperature okay which are the vector quantities velocity momentum acceleration force electric field intensity these are some of the vector quantities so first of all we'll see how a vector can be graphically shown so suppose this is my vector this is my vector ab this is the point a and this is the point b okay point a is the start point okay point b is the end point Okay, and the direction of this vector is towards point b okay so this vector can be written as vector ab that is ab bar or some it is also written as ab cap but for uh, i am going to use this notation ab bar okay so vector as per its definition vector is equal to magnitude into direction okay for our vector our vector is vector ab its magnitude it can be written as only ab or mod ab okay multiplied by its direction so direction of any vector it can be given by a a bar 
So, what is this? This is the unit vector. Okay. This is the magnitude of vector a b and this is unit vector. Okay. So, a a bar from above equation unit vector can be obtained by taking the ratio of vector a b to its magnitude. Okay. Vector a b to its magnitude. Okay. Now, suppose we have a vector, we have a point a which is given as a is located at x1, y1 and z1 location and point b is located at x2, y2 and z2 locations. Okay. So, vector a b and we want to find out vector a b. So, this vector a b can be obtained by simple rule that is end point minus start point. So, for x coordinate end point is x2, start point is x1. So, x2 minus x1 multiplied by unit vector in the direction of x plus second coordinate is y. So, end point is y2, start point is y1. So, y2 minus y1 unit vector in the direction of y plus z2 minus z1 unit vector in the direction of z. So, this is how we can obtain of any vector if the positions of two points are given to us. Okay. How to find out magnitude of this vector? So, the magnitude of vector a b it can be obtained by taking square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. Okay. So, till now we have discussed what is a scalar quantity, what, what do we mean by a vector, okay. how vector is defined, how to find out vector if two coordinates or locations of two points are given, how to find out magnitude of that vector and what e, what do you mean by unit vector okay actually unit vector is a vector which is giving only direction its magnitude magnitude is always one okay and this unit vector is given as it is the ratio of vector to its magnitude okay here we will solve an example okay where we have point A which is located at 2, 1, 3 and we have point B which is located at minus 2, minus 4 and 5 and we want to find out vector AB as well as unit vector in the direction of AB bar. Okay. So, two points are given point A and point B and we want to find out vector AB and its unit vector. Okay. So, to find out vector a b we will use which concept end point minus start point. Okay. So, minus 2 minus 2 into a x bar plus end point of y coordinate is minus 4 start point is 1. So, minus 4 minus 1 a y bar plus 5 minus 3 a z bar. So, the answer is minus 4 a x bar minus 5 a y bar plus 2 a z bar. Okay. So, vector a b is equal to minus 4 a x bar minus 5 a y bar plus 2 a z bar. Now, we want to find out this unit vector. To find out unit vector, we or unit vector it is equal to what as per the definition it is the ratio of vector a b to its magnitude. 
okay right now we have obtained vector ab but we need to obtain its magnitude so first of all we'll try to find out magnitude of vector ab which is equal to what under root of 4 square plus 5 square plus 2 square it is equal to how much it is equal to root of 45 so you need vector in the direction of ab it is equal to ab divided by its magnitude and this is equal to minus 4 ax bar minus 5 ay bar plus 2 az bar divided by under root of 45 okay So, I hope you all understand the concept of uh, vector and how to obtain vector if two points are given to us. Okay. Now, we will see some of the properties of vectors. Okay. So, the first property is equality of vectors. So, under this what is actually this property? Here, two vectors are equal if they have same magnitude and same direction. When the two vectors can be said to be equal only if they have same magnitude as well as same, they are in the same direction. Okay. Then, second property of vector is movement of vectors in a diagram. Any vector can be moved parallel to itself without being affected. Okay negative vectors two vectors are negative when if they have same magnitude but they are 180 degree apart from each other or opposite in the direction okay multiplication or division of a vector by scalar results in what multiplication of uh, multiplication or division of vector by a scalar results always in a vector for which we have two conditions only the magnitude changes if the scalar is positive and if the scalar is negative then along with magnitude the direction is also reversed okay so when we are dividing or multiplying a vector by a scalar quantity it results its result is always a vector but what which quantity is going to change where either a uh, magnitude is going to change or both magnitude as well as reverse is uh, uh, as well as direction is going to change that depends on whether the scalar is positive or negative next point is uh, we are trying to add to if if we want to add two vectors so when adding the vectors the directions must be taken into account and units must be the same okay so we have two methods first is the graphical method and second one is the algebraic method so this is the first method which is also called as the triangle method and this is also called as the head to tail method in this diagram you can see we have two vectors vector a and vector b and we want to add this two method uh, two vectors so in this method a vec from uh, the head of vector a we will draw vector b that means from the head of the vector a the tail of vector b will start okay and we will draw vector b Okay, and we will connect vector A and vector B in such a way that we are going to connect it from the tail of vector A to the head of the vector B. Okay, and this is our resultant. Resultant. Okay, so from the tail of vector A we will connect vector b at its head and this is our resultant of vector addition of vector a and vector b okay next graphical method is parallelogram method 
next graphical method is parallelogram method here you can see we have two vectors vector a and vector b okay so initially by with the help of dotted lines we will complete this parallelogram okay and then we will connect this diagonal so this diagonal is the resultant of vector addition okay So, this vector addition it follows two laws commutative law as well as associative law. So, we have two vectors vector A and vector B. So, as per the commutative law A bar plus B bar is equal to B bar plus A bar and law of associative or here we have three vectors vector a vector b and vector c we want to add this so as per according to this law a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar okay now suppose we have two vectors vector a is given as ax ax bar plus ay ay bar plus az az bar and vector b is given as bx ax bar plus by ay bar plus bz az bar we want to add these two vectors. So, the result of addition of these two vectors is a bar plus b bar is equal to a x plus b x a x bar plus a y plus b y a y bar plus a z plus b z a z bar. Okay. For vector subtraction, vector subtraction is same as that of vector addition. So, a bar minus b bar is equal to a x minus b x a x bar plus a y minus b y a y bar plus a z minus b z a z bar. Okay. So, we will solve one example based on this. Suppose we have point A which is located at 2, 3, minus 1. We have point B which is located at 1, 5, 2. Point C which is located at 3, 1, minus 5. And point D is located at 1, 2, 3. And we have to find out A, B bar plus C, D bar and a b bar minus c d bar okay so in this example four points are given point a point b point c and point t point d along with its positions okay and we have to add vector a b with vector c d and we have to again we have to find out a b bar minus c d bar so here before trying to solve this vector addition we need to find out vector a b as well as vector c d then only we can find out vector addition result of vector addition and result of vector subtraction okay so find out vector a b so this will be your task while coming to the next session you can come up with the answer So, vector a b is equal to minus a x bar plus 2 a y bar plus 3 a z bar. Vector c d is equal to minus 2 a x bar plus a y bar plus 8 a z bar. So, a b bar plus c d bar is equal to how much? So, 
ए बी बार प्लस सी डी बार इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन माइनस टू इंटू ए एक्स बार सो माइनस थ्री ए एक्स बार टू प्लस वन सो थ्री ए वाई बार एंड थ्री प्लस एट दैट इज प्लस इलेवन ए जेड बार so today we'll stop here next session we will start with the vector multiplication